Marie, and I'm from Seaside Stampin' Inc. in Ocean City, Maryland. And I'm going to show you a few techniques today with our spritzers. Um, we have some beach scenes that we're going to show you, a couple of those, and a textured background. We're using regular bathroom alcohol for this procedure. Um, you can use water, you can use uh, gin, you can use baby oil. There's a lot of different techniques that we have instructions for in all of these spritzers to show you how to completely do about 16 different projects. So let's start with alcohol. Now this is just regular bathroom alcohol and what I've done is I've put it in my spritzer. So that's loaded with 91% uh, alcohol and you can find that at Walmart, Rite Aid, CVS, any of, any of those places. What we're going to do is we're going to make our own alcohol inks. So these are just regular diary inkers that I'm using. That was a butterscotch color. That's going to be the color of our sand. This is a stonewashed color, which is going to be our water. And this is also stonewashed in the sky, but we're going to touch that with a bit of gray, which is a slate color. Again, these are Adirondack inks and just regular diary inkers. Any re-inker will work. If your brand is Marvy, if your brand is Memories, they all work just fine. Now, you do need a Krylon pen, which come in several colors. I'm going to use silver right now. You need to shake that up real well. Use glossy cardstock. We're going to make blobs on the cardstock. Now, notice I said blobs. That's a real important technical term. Because if you just go little dot, 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 you're going to have spots on your card that you won't be able to get rid of. So make sure you have nice juicy blobs with your Krylon on there. You're going to immediately come behind and you're going to spritz the card with the alcohol. So we're going to do that really saturating it really well until your Krylon starts to move. Here's the hard part. You're going to pick up your stomper and you're going to smear. And I know you all can know how to smear. We all do that real well. Just smear that across. That's the sand. Smear that across. That's the water. And I try to pick up some of that butterscotch color so that I bring some green into the water there. Now the sky, again, that was a gray and blue mix. And we'll just smear that across. Let's say we want it to be nighttime. There's your moon. That will be that one when we stamp it. Let's do one with a little bit different angle. We're going to mix up the beach scene a bit. Again, we're going to start with our Krylon and our glossy cardstock. Come behind with your alcohol and spritz it real well. Now, this time, I'm going to start with the water first. There's our water. Here's our sand. Is that our sky? I forgot. There's our sky. Now if you look closely at this, you can see the streaks in both of these cards as it dries. You have those silver streaks through that. Now that card will be this one when we stamp that and we allow that to dry. We'll just, it just takes about 30 or 60 seconds to dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to show you another technique and then we'll stamp that. So we've got a clean place mat here. We're using alcohol again, but this time we're actually mixing the diary anchor and the alcohol in the spritzer. So we've got a few different colors here. I've got my butterscotch, my red, my blue, and my green. This is the card that we're going to achieve right now. This is the textured background. We're going to take and just, this is alcohol again. I'm using alcohol because it dries quickly and I'm in an impatient stamper. So we want this done yesterday. So we're just going to add all our colors. Now you're going to take some saran wrap. You're going to rip off some of that and lay that down on your card. It starts to, folds start to appear. So you're going to just push it a little bit more. Okay? We're going to sit that aside to dry, and it'll take about 10 minutes. Once that's dry, take this off, and you have your texture. 
and so that's how we got these two cards here. Okay? Let's go back and stamp our beach scene. Okay, let's do this one first. We'll start with our sandpipers. And we do have some unmounted sheets that are total sets of all the beach scenery stamps. Um, and of course we always have them mounted. We also have some with a uh, clean cushion already in sets. We stamp our sandpipers and then our sand dune hills. I'm only going to ink that up one time, but yet I'm going to stamp it again and again. The light and the dark gives you depth perception. You're going to take the single dune. You're going to stamp that wherever you want. Turn the stamp upside down. You're going to fill in all the sand where you left holes from the dune hills. So you've got complete sand across there. You're going to take a bird from the sky. And we'll take a saying. And then we edge with whatever color cryoline you used in the beginning to marble. That's the color you want to use to edge. I would mount this on a piece of black cardstock as a frame and then match some of your cardstocks to the colors that you have in the background for your base card. So there's that one complete. Now to complete this one, remember we put the water in a different place here. We're going to take a couple of post-it notes and we're going to mask off our sand for this card. This is our water stamp. It's also a tree trunk. It's also tree bark. But today it's water. So we're going to use the blue. And we're going to haphazardly, and I know you like that, haphazardly, stamp this all over the place. It doesn't matter that you're overlapping. You're just going to go over it like three, four times again and again. Now what that did was it created moving water. So let me take this off and show you. Do you see how the water now has movement rather than just water that way? Okay. Took the mask off. We're going to go back to our black pad. Go back to our stamps here. Again, I inked the sand dune hills up one time. I'm going to stamp it again and again, giving you that depth. Take your single dune. Put that wherever you want. Remember to turn it upside down. You're going to fill in all the sand on the beach. You can't tell where one stamp stops and another one starts. Put a phrase up here. This time we're going to use our tree. The tree is a tree. It's a reed. It's a weed. And it's lightning. For instance, if you wanted to use it as lightning, you, on this side, you would take an orange or red marker, color one or two of these branches in, and then stamp it upside down this, in the sky, and you have lightning. But today, it's going to be a reed. So we're just going to ink up part of it, and we're going to stamp it at the base of that corner of water here. Again, we're going to edge. Using the same color that we marbled with to begin with. There's a trick to uh, doing this so steady. I really don't have a steady hand. But you want to hold your arm very, very loose when you're using a Krylon pen. So loose that you can feel the edge of this card through the tip. You're going to take and you're going to feel that and you're going to draw it rather quickly towards yourself and you get a straight line every time. I can go over it and still have the same straight line. It'll go in the same spot and it works, works every time. There's your finished card with that.